welcome back to my channel. My name's Elaine. I'm a spiritual mentor, which basically means I've mentored people that were recovering addicts, and I try to also encourage people, even when sometimes I don't have the strength to encourage myself. If you like these videos and you are a repeat or return uh, visitor, by all means, please hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, make a comment, ring the bell, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Sunday, uh, the day before my birthday, June 23rd, and I just wanted to post a video because I had some things on my mind that I needed to get off. And I wanted, uh, I think I want to call this just because it comes across your path doesn't make it yours, which I know I'm going to have to shorten the title. But with that being said, I have come across some people and myself pursue things that I thought were for me that actually weren't for me. And at the end of the day, been quite disappointed that it didn't work out the way I thought it was going to work out for me. And I know I'm not the only person that feels that way. So what I do now is basically try to uh, pursue opportunities and not fail tests. Because there is a difference between uh, an opportunity and a test. And it may look the same. But you might think that this is something that's big for you and something that can change everything about you or your financial situation or your relationships or whatever the case may be. Coming to the reality that if it's a test, you basically are to take the test, complete the test, and then if you don't pass the test, you basically have to do it again. So hopefully you really do try to pass the test because it's real important that you give all you got to whatever it is you're trying to pursue. But if you feel that it's not feeling like it's yours, then that's probably a test just to prepare you for when the reality does kick in. With that being said, I am a, um, a person that tries to encourage people and sometimes I can't find the words to really say what I'm feeling because I feel bad, you know, for whatever the situation is that didn't work out. I feel that way about myself too when I, when I think that I've got it all figured out. I've told myself a whole story, finished the, the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story, and thinking, you know, how did I miss this? Or why didn't this work out? And now I'm at the reality of understanding that it wasn't for me. It was my test. And sometimes it's just a test before you get blessed. The test has to come to make sure that you're prepared mentally, physically, emotionally. You don't just want to jump into something because you think in your head you're ready. That's your reality talking. But at the end of the day, you start to bear more responsibilities on one level or another until you realize, I wasn't ready. Because most of the time, these tests come to show you what you're made of. These tests don't come to see how good you are as things. It's to show you what you're made of, how strong is your tenacity or, or your endurance of whatever it is you have to take. Perhaps, for instance, perhaps there's someone out there who's dealing with a sick child. Everybody can't handle it. But there are some people that will be given that test to show them that they can handle it. And it could be something that's in your future or in your present. But at the end of the day, if, if, if God gave you this gift and the packaging is not the way you thought it was going to be, but at the end of the day, you can learn what you need to learn to care for a child. If you have the grace and the endurance to do this, then it's for you. That is your gift. But at the end of the day, everybody can't handle a sick child. At the end of the day, everybody can't handle a man that has not been groomed to be a husband, but yet has assumed the responsibility of a husband. You may have to do the work. Well, what you don't want to do is take somebody else's work, somebody else's husband, and make it your own. And then say, oh, 
you know, I didn't want a man, I got to go through all that building and that foundation type thing and all that. I want somebody that's ready. That's really not the reality. Excuse me, I'm really hot right now. But anyway, it's better to grow together and learn what you need to learn from each other so that you can improve together. If possible, it's not always possible. Sometimes you, 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 sometimes people come into your life that you didn't invite. They just kind of show up, and when they show up, they don't bring much to the table. And yet you stay, and you try to figure out why they're there, or you try to figure out is this my gift? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? But all you have to do is pray for discernment. The spirit of discernment will let you know whether or not this person belongs in your life or not. You have got to get out of your way. I have got to get out of my way so that I can learn what I need to learn on the level that I'm on. I would rather that than to waste time with somebody who's not staying. Because some people come into your life to leave and to teach you how to accept people leaving. Because people come and people go. Some people stay and some people don't. That's just how it is. So with that being said, be careful of the story that you tell yourself. And it's, I had to watch that as well because I tell myself a story and then when I get disappointed or let down because even though I told myself that story it did not become my reality and then I'm disappointed so it's better to kind of walk in your present be connected because I think a lot of this that we misunderstand each other and misunderstand circumstances and situations is because we're so busy and you have to be unbusy in order to figure out things that you need to figure out about yourself and about each other. This is what I believe that we're here to do. To figure out how to coexist with each other on whatever level. And there's many, many levels that we can coexist on. Um, with that being said, I hope that this was food for somebody's soul. Because it was definitely food for my soul and food for my thoughts. Be careful of the stories that you tell yourself. Let your reality speak a little bit louder than your fantasy. And with that, stay blessed. Peace.